The mysterious voice heard by Roxy leads the girls to a farm. Here, the Winks find a ring of white metal, an object feared by the fairy hunters. Waiting to discover its secret, the Winks and the specialists attend Muse's concert, where someone in the crowd has great things in store for her. We know what we want. We're going to be the most powerful wizards in the world. We just need to capture that last fairy on Earth. Then the power will be ours. So make one more effort, my friends. After centuries, our hunt is about to end. Mm. Keep concentrating. We need the location spell to ascertain where the White Circle can be found. Mm. The White Circle. Think about the White Circle. The Fairy Circle. Ah. We thought we destroyed them all, but we were wrong. There's one left, and the last fairy on Earth has it. Roxy! It possesses great energy, and in their hands, it's a detriment to our success! <sighs> Reveal yourself, White Circle! Show yourself to us! Tell us where you are, so that you can be destroyed! <laughs> You know, Stella, I don't think the White Circle was intended to be a pet toy. I know, but look how much fun they're having with it! <laughs> so, Musa, what do you think of the note Jason Queen wrote you? I don't know, but I'd like to think he meant what he said. You have a lovely voice. If you want, I can make you a star, signed Jason Queen, music producer. And there's his phone number. What if it's just someone's idea of a joke? I think we should be positive about it. Muse's voice is a great gift. Hear, hear. Well, I still don't know what to make of this note. <laughs> Musa, there's only one way to find out the truth. I know the record company Queen works for, and I think this is a great opportunity for you. Go for it, Musa. Call him. All right, but wipe those smiles off your faces. <laughs> <laughs> What? What are you staring at? Don't you have something better to do? Go on, Musa. Hello, Mr. Queen. Hi, yes, it's me. Oh, well, me who? Well, me, uh... Oh, my name! <laughs> Musa, the girl you heard singing at the Fruity Music Bar, remember? He remembers me and he wants me to call him Jason. An, an audition? Are you sure, Mr. Queen? I, I mean, Jason? I, well, I mean, it's fantastic. Yes, of course I have a pen. Everyone always has a pen handy when they get a call like this. Yes, yes, I've written it down. See you soon, then. Yes, thank you. I look forward to it. So? He wants me to do an audition. He said that he loves my voice. I can't believe it. Well, you should believe it. And now we have to get you all organized. Just leave it to me. Hello, Andy? Hi, it's me, Bloom. I need to ask a favor of you. Go for it, Musa. How does it feel to be the last fairy on Earth? I don't exactly know. Up until the other day, I was just a normal girl with a quiet life. Then you Winks arrived and everything changed. We didn't do much, Roxy. You've always had magic flowing inside you. You're a very special person. I know, but the thing is, I don't want to be someone special. And my best friend agrees with me. Don't you, R2? Nobody chooses to become a fairy. You're about to go through some tough times that are going to put your courage to the test. But you're a smart girl, and I know you'll do well. I feel it. Now here, take this. I, I'm not sure I want it. This circle belongs to you. It's a link to your past and to your future. If you want, we can discover its secrets together. You're one of us now. So mm. in the My 
girlfriend up there. Or at least she used to be. I don't like all these guys hanging around her. Andy is just a good friend. He's helping Musa make her dream come true. You of all people should appreciate his generosity. Hmm. Hey, Jenny, can I rustle you up your favorite strawberry shake? Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. There you go. Now you know how it feels. He's dreamy. Hello, <laughs> oh, Naboo, Helia. I'm sensing a little jealousy in the air. You don't have to be a wizard to guess that. It's written all over Riven's face. I'll talk to him. How about you, Bloom? <laughs> Did you sort things out with Sky? Yes, Helia. I think so. <laughs> Look at those guys. Music means the world to them. Just like Musa, they have a common bond. Nothing wrong with that. It's true. You're right. I think I'll go mention that to Sky. Guys, where have you been? I've been looking all over the place Hi for there. you. A surfing contest is about to start in front of the Fruity Music Bar. You guys should so enter it. Hmm? Sure, why not? I haven't gone surfing in a long time. I'll uh, see you later, Bloom. Yes, yeah, guy. See you later. <laughs> Is something wrong, Riven? Muse has been so different lately. She's interested in other things, other people. She doesn't seem to care about me. She needs music and her friends, but most of all, she needs you. You don't want to let her down, do you? <sighs> Thanks for the help. But I think I need to be alone for a while. When you want to talk about it, you know where to find me. For dragons to don't say another word. What's wrong, Bloom? Problems with Sky? No, not with Sky. I just have a problem with Mitzi's behavior. Just admit it. You're jealous, and you should be. Jealousy keeps a relationship alive and thriving. That's your opinion, Stella. Nobody likes being jealous. Well, it seems problems have a way of finding us. Look over there. Hello, Bloom, girls. Arendor, um, your majesty, it's so good to see you. The illustrious Arendor traveled a long way to come and speak to his king. I mean, his son, Sky. so I thought I'd bring him here. Thanks, Dad. You did the right thing. Where's Sky? Where's my son? <laughs> I've looked for him in Sparks, Magics, and now here in Gardenia. He has many sovereign duties awaiting him. I will not have him shirk his responsibilities. Just a wild guess here, but there's going to be major trouble if Arendor finds out his son is a waiter at the Fruity Music Bar. Oh, no. You distract Arendor. We'll think of something. Excuse us, Your Majesty. We have an appointment to get to. Yes. Guards, stop these girls. <gasps> I'll repeat the question, Bloom. Where's Sky? Um, it's a long story, Your Highness. I don't like this thing either, R2, whatever it is, but it's important to face our fears. Roxy! Huh? Roxy, listen to me! That voice! It's coming from the circle! What's going on? Roxy, set me free! Nebula has been imprisoned too long! Let me go! I don't want to! What you want is no longer important, girl! Finally, after centuries, Nebula has come back to life. And now, vengeance against the fairy hunters will be mine. Now, Magic Circle, take me to Ogron and the Wizards of the Black Circle. Well, Bloom? Your Majesty, the problem is I don't really know where to start. Uh, what? Girls, we really need to go. Stella, what's wrong? I think Roxy's in trouble. I can sense a strong negative energy in her. I've never felt it before. 
Close. The circle has come to us. Anagan, show the girl what you can do. With pleasure. Now you will experience my power. She went into that warehouse. Let's go. Duma, Gantlos, be careful. That fairy is stronger than I anticipated. <laughs> I'll deal with her. Don't even think about it. Nobody touches Roxy when we're around. The Winx, how fortuitous. We can get rid of you all in one shot. Ah. You girls really deserve a round of applause. Ah. Ah. Roxy, take shelter. We'll deal with them. Don't you dare. I've waited for this moment for centuries. Yeah. The power of the White Circle is making me weak! Hey, what's up with Roxy? She's like a different person! Girls, watch out! Last along! Ah, oh, Duma is strong! It won't last long! Speaking of powers, get a load of this! Magical Echo! Time to pay for everything you did to my sisters and I, Obron. I've captured hundreds of fairies. I'm not afraid of you. Uh, dragon heart. Oh, huh? Leave it to me. They got lucky before and caught us off guard. Watch out. You're still a bit weak. Oh. <laughs> Winter Rose! The White Circle's energy is too intense! Techno shock! Let's get out of here! Why, we can beat them! The White Circle makes us stronger! We're not prepared for this! Where do you think you're going? I'm not finished with you, Ogron. Fear not. We'll meet again soon. They escaped, and it's...
It's all your fault, girls. I don't recognize her. I know. I can feel it, too. It's the circle power that changed you. Her eyes, they're different. These are the eyes of vengeance. Roxy, there's a strong negative energy coming from you. Please, give us back the magic circle. The circle belongs to Nebula, now and forever. Ah! <gasps> Nebula, I've heard that name. It was in the Book of Fairies. You've interfered with my revenge, and now you'll face the consequences. We need to counter the negative energy controlling Roxy, but we can't risk hurting her. Let's use our defense shields. Sonic Scream! That should do it. But what? what's going on? Nothing is going on, young girl. My power is stronger than anything. We've got to put our powers together. Let's activate the magic convergence of our defense shields. Flaming Armor! Scream Free! Serious as shield! Defender Plate! Sonic Scream! Plasma Wall! She's exhausted. By taking on the wizards, she used up all her magic energy. Well, at least the negative energy that was controlling her is gone. I'm going to use my healing power to get her strength back. Strength of life. Uh, what, what happened? We'll explain later, Roxy. The important thing is that you're fine now. <laughs> I don't remember anything at all. But whatever happened, thank you all so much. We're friends now, Roxy, and a friend in need is a friend indeed. When will you come to your senses, Sky? The throne of Arachleon is in need of its king. What will you choose to do? Ahem, uh hello everyone. Did we miss something? You've come to Earth and are serving these humans and engaging in some common skill contest? You are the king of Arachleon. Have you forgotten that? Dad, I missed you so much. Hi, Roxy. Hey, what's going on here? Did you organize a theme party without telling me? Uh, Roxy? What? What's gotten into her? I think she's just a little tired today. Maybe I should go have a little chat with her. You have many things to account for, my son. But first I shall take your royal seal back. You can reclaim it upon your return. But until that time, I shall keep it. Uh, speaking of the royal seal... Are you trying to tell me that something has happened to the royal seal? Was it stolen? Did you lose it? Did you sell it for immeasurable wealth? Well, let's just say you're on the right track. How can I help you? Ah, hello. Hello, sir. You are in possession of something that I would very much like to have back. These stones should be ample enough. But these are priceless. Wait, you don't fool me. This is a joke, isn't it? Where is the camera? Where do I have to look? Does this human doubt my word? I think so, Father. We can't leave like this. We have to make him believe us. Yeah, it was a very funny joke. But now, if you don't mind, I have to get back to work. Bright heart. Huh? Open your soul and believe in the magic in your heart. If you are willing to believe, your heart will make the right choice. Now I know what to do. Mm -hmm. Well done, Yuza. You used your Believix powers very well. Here you are, sir. Thank you. These gems are for you, my son, and for your friends. If you want to stay in this world any longer, they will help you lead a prosperous life. Thank you, Father. But on behalf of my friends, we can accept. We chose to follow the girls we love into this world, and we should try to live here according to the rules of this planet. I am proud of you, my son, for you have just confirmed to me that I have a worthy heir. <laughs> Sometimes you are a bit hasty, but you are also brave and generous. Be careful, my son. Farewell. I'm proud of you, Sky. Even if I sometimes make you angry? I like you just the way you are, and tonight we should celebrate. What about a nice dinner party at home, girls? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, guys? How about a fruit smoothie made by the King of Taste? But aren't you the King of Arachleon? Did I miss something? <laughs> Slow down, Nebu. Say some for the others. The others? I only have eyes for you. You wash and I dry? Too easy. I say we switch it up a bit. How about we do half and half? You know, Flora, I find the people from Earth more and more interesting every day. I feel the same way, Helia, and I'm so happy you're here with me to share it. <laughs> hey, your pet's really cute. You really think so, Rivet? I think he's adorable. 
hey, is this the best singer in the world? Unfortunately, I think only my girlfriends think so. No, Musa, you're wrong. I believe it too. I just don't know how to express it very well. <laughs> Come here, Musa. I want to show you something. A lot of people like your voice. Take a look at this. Wow, look how many visitors. <laughs> this music, it's me. I was looking for a way to improve our Winx Club website, so I recorded your singing, and it's worked wonders. Techna, you're amazing! Okay, okay, but if you don't stop squeezing me, you're gonna have to find another computer-savvy fairy. <laughs> what are we going to do with you? <laughs> when you love someone, Sometimes one word is enough to sort things out, or mess it up. That's true, so maybe we better not speak. <laughs> In the next episode, the Belivix power touches the hearts of the people of Gardenia, and the Winks become more and more powerful. Music gets an incredible offer by a record producer, but Riven seems unable to be happy for her.